A Freetown man allegedly kills his girlfriend, then runs off and hides in a family member's home before she's being arrested. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. 54-year-old Matthew Lucas just faced a judge this afternoon, only hours after police say they found 44-year-old Heidi Chase dead at their home. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuda was in the courtroom today as he was arraigned. And Sheena, we learned a little bit more about what led up to the woman's death. Well, according to prosecutors, the suspect and victim were boyfriend girlfriend. We're told they were hanging with a few other friends earlier in the night, and one of those friends is actually the one who found the victim lifeless. Now, here is video from that courtroom. He really just got arraigned in the last two hours or so. Matthew Lucas right here charged with murder. Authorities say he and the victim, Heidi Chase, lived together in East Freetown. It's believed the suspect may have been smoking cocaine earlier in that night. The friends say they saw the suspect grabbing the victim at some point, and then one of the friends eventually found the victim and calls 911. The district attorney talks a bit about a hammer investigators found at the scene. The evidence we have now, a hammer was found at the scene that appears to be connected to the assault, but as an autopsy has to be conducted, but it was evidence uh, from what I understand of injuries to her face or head uh, that may be, may be consistent with that, but that uh, evidence was seized and is being processed. Now, we are still in the first 24 hours of this investigation. The initial 911 call came in at about 4.30 this morning. A few hours later, police find the suspect hiding in a family member's shed, also in Freetown. And then, of course, he ends up here in the courtroom just a few hours ago. Now, it's also worth mentioning that the district attorney tells us Lucas has a lengthy criminal history. We're also told he was recently released from a mental institution. Report Reporting live in Fall River, I'm Sheena Loshuto, 12 News. First tonight, a woman is dead, and police say the man she shared a home with is her suspected killer. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. Investigators say they found 44-year-old Heidi Chase's body in her East Freetown home early this morning. The man now charged with her murder was caught hours later. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto joins us live from Fall River District Court, where the suspect appeared a short time ago. Sheena? Well, police tell us they found the victim with significant trauma to her face. Investigators also say they found a hammer at the scene. From a home to a homicide scene. Yellow tape sealed off parts of the property where police say a East Freetown woman was killed. 54-year-old Matthew Lucas is accused of murder. The victim has been identified as his girlfriend, 44-year-old Heidi Chase. Authorities say the two live together. Blood was observed throughout the residence and investigators also at this time located a hammer that appeared to be saturated in blood and had hair on it. The 911 call came in at about 4.30 this morning when a friend found Chase. Investigators say police eventually find Lucas about half a mile away hiding in a family member's shed on Burns Lane. Lucas answers to a murder charge only hours later. I'm pleased that the defendant was held without bail and that his bail was revoked on his open case. Uh, this is a brutal killing of the victim. Um, based on the evidence you heard in court, uh, appears to be fueled by drugs and alcohol. The suspect's daughter, emotional, outside of court. I know my dad has issues, but I didn't think he would kill somebody. It's all right, we gotta go, come on. Hours after the call first came in, investigators remain here on scene. The home sits on busy Chase Road, only minutes away from the Freetown Police Department. And tonight, the investigation continues. District Attorney Thomas Quinn says he can't remember the last time there was a homicide in Freetown, stressing that Lucas had a lengthy criminal past. Fair process, but uh, it's certainly a very uh, uh, troubling and disturbing case. A not guilty plea was entered on Lucas's behalf. He'll be back here in court in just about one month. Reporting live in Fall River, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.